Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the farm. I got a brake drum puller that arrived and I had had high hopes that I'd be able to get around both sides of this thing and pull it right off. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that because I can't get underneath both sides of it because of the casting. Um, we're working on the final drive and I'm trying to get the clutch brake drum off of the shaft so that I can take this and get the bearings pressed out of it and I think I've got it set up again we're gonna give it another try I've given it a couple of tries off camera so I wouldn't embarrass myself too much but uh, yeah I'm, I might I might make some progress now I don't know let's see that is not budging not moving at all for me at least I'm pressing against the right thing here that's good and tight that is just not coming off Well, brake drum puller was a great idea, but it doesn't look like it's going to help me. I don't have anything else in my arsenal here to help me out. Well, looky here. I did get something broken loose after all. <laughs> okay. Well, I got that off. That's more than I've been able to accomplish before. Wow. That is really rusty which just reinforces my desire to go and put this in the sandblaster box and give it a good sandblasting because there's a bunch of little machined grooves in here that a uh, little wire wheel isn't going to reach into the corners of and uh, although that looks uh, damaged I think that's just the remnants of uh, brake lining on there yeah they got rusted to it so I think that'll clean up nice but uh, okay well partial success I got the drum part of it off I didn't get the facing disc that's what I was hoping to get off because I got to replace these bolts and there's a, a bearing and a bearing cup that's on the other side of this that I need to replace. Hmm. My drift was making better progress the other day. Yeah, I just kind of at a loss to come up with something to. I've got this disc and it's on the end of a shaft and it's got two pins and four holes for uh, bolts and it ought to come, come you know just come right off and not cooperating
and it feels like it wants to move at least it feels like it wants to move I've gotten the pin sunken in about an eighth of an inch over here and this side it was an eighth of an inch down now it's about a sixteenth of an inch up so it's moving it's just not moving like I would want it to and I can hear it creak when I apply pressure to it it's like there's something else holding it on there and I don't know what I guess is it's just pretty much rusted together. Well, it moved it some. Not much. This is not helping. I gotta take a break before I get too pissed off. We're back. And I'm actually putting stuff back together. Because, uh, the way I, I'm not admitting defeat, but I'm, 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 I'm admitting when I don't have what I need to, to finish the job, so. I'm going to put this back together to a certain degree and take it to my John Deere dealership and have him press out all this stuff and break it apart for me so I don't break anything. Because I'm sure they've got better tools for this than I do. Ugh. My God, this thing's heavy. And I'm kind of slowly putting the stuff back together that I think belongs together. The right bolts back in the right holes. I found a few that weren't where they were supposed to be. And uh, I'm gonna make sure I try to put the hardware back where, where it belongs. And uh, yeah, there's issues trying to get some of this stuff apart. And uh, I'm going to let John Deere handle it. I'm going to put it back together. Now I've gone and tried to order some parts and the gentleman that has them available is uh, trying to get back to me and we're playing a game of email tag back and forth. So. Uh, I kind of hate to take this to John Deere until I get all the bearings and the oil seals and stuff that are required so I'm not making two trips to go see these guys. <coughs> we'll see how that goes. And I got my fingers crossed that I can get some parts in a timely manner <coughs> and get this thing started because it's kind of gross and yucky but sooner I get it cleaned up sooner I can get it back on the tractor we'll see how that goes
drain plug is loose. And the fill plug is loose. So that's pretty much ready to go to John Deere, unfortunately. Now I've just got to wait on bearings and seals to show up in the mail. So I can take it with this and say, here, put these in here. And then I can finish cleaning this up, paint it, and put it back on the tractor. Well, sorry we didn't get that much done today, but getting that drum off was a major victory in my eyes. Because it needed to come off anyway. And it needs to get sandblasted and cleaned up. <coughs> Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me on the farm this morning. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And come back, and hopefully I'll get more done on the next episode. Come back and see us. <laughs>